Using Home Assistant, sometimes you need to change dimensions of a card. In Home Assistant, height and width are a matter of layout, not the card itself. So it's not possible to only change width of a card, for instance. But how can cards be customized? With Lovelace, Layout Card and Leveraging CSS Grid, you almost get full control over customizing Lovelace cards. CSS Grid is a powerful tool that allows for two-dimensional layouts to be created. In this tutorial, I show you how to use these two, I mean layout card and CSS grid, to create and customize layouts. Before starting the tutorial, subscribe and press the bell button to receive every new video if you haven't done yet. First of all, layout card must be installed in Home Assistant. To install it, you have to use hacks. If you do not know how to use hacks, watch the video at the top right corner of the screen. I navigate to hacks search layout card this one open it click download you need to reload your browser for the updated resources to be used i click reload let's check the installation in home assistant i navigate to settings dashboard Click three dots at the top right corner of the screen to open its menu. Select resources. In this page, you must see Lovelace layout card. It's time to create a new dashboard by navigating to dashboard page in settings of Home Assistant. Click add dashboard. In pop-up window, set a title for your dashboard. Also, you can set an icon for your dashboard too. Then click create. Navigate to create a dashboard. Click three dots at the top right corner of the screen to open dashboard menu. Select the dashboard. In pop up the window, enable a start with an empty dashboard. Then click take control. Again, I click three dots. This time I select raw configuration edit. I remove these two lines, paste these lines. You can find the lines in description. The title is the name of the created dashboard. I use custom layout card and the layout type is grid. To get something that looks like a grid, we need to add columns and rows. These are created using the grid template columns and grid template rows properties. These properties accept a value called a track list. So grid template columns and grid template rows define the columns and rows of the grid with a space separated list of values. The values represent the track size and the space between them represents the grid line. The size of each cell can be a length, a percentage or fraction of the free space in the grid. I use the FR unit represents the available space in the grid container. This means that with a track list of like this, the available space is divided into four and shared evenly between the tracks. With a track list like this, the available space is divided into four and two parts are given to track one, one part each to tracks two and three. Grid template areas assigns names to cells of the grid. As you see, I have defined four columns and four rows. In this section, I define names for each of the cells. You can assign your own name for each cell. This is cell A, cell B, cell C, and etc. After creating the layout, which is done in highlighted section, it's time to add cards in Lovelace. Not everyone can use codes to add cards. Then what should be done to escape writing codes in order to add cards? The easiest way is to navigate to one of your dashboards, open its menu, click Edit Dashboard, click Add Card, Select the card you want to add in your Lovelace. For example, I want to add a button card. 
I select it. In entity section, I choose the device I want to control. Select it. Then at the bottom of the popped up window on the left, we have show code edit. Select it. Here we have the codes. Copy them and paste them below card line. Like this. Then you have to trim them. You have to cut the type line, paste it above all of them with a minus added to the beginning of the line. Like this. I have already added cards so I remove these lines. Type is picture entity. I want to have the state of the entity so I set show status to true. Show name to true. Entity is my sensor, tank status sensor. Let's talk about this section. By using this section, we designate the area of the car. Area is combination of cells in grid. Pay attention to this section. Grid column start specifies the column where to start the grid icon. In another word, defines on which column line the item starts. Grid column end specifies the column where to end the grid icon. In another word, defines how many columns an item spans. Grid row start specifies the row where to start grid icon. Grid row end specifies the row where to end the grid icon. How these properties work is by giving it the coordinates for the top left cell and the ending button right cell. The element will span all the way from the top left to the bottom right. However, Keep in mind that the actual bottom right cell is not included, so we have to add one for the ending coordinates. I want to use one column, it starts from column one. The ending must be column two. I want to use three rows. I start with row number one. The ending row is number four. The layout is grid. The rest is about picture entity. Next, I added a button. The type is button. I want to have the name and the icon. This is my entity. View layout. You can also refer to any named grid areas that you have created with the grid template areas property. In this section, we specified names for cells. And by using these two lines, we refer to any named grid areas. I want this button to occupy grid area name B. The next card is also a button. I want this button to occupy grid area F, this one. That's it. You can add more cards and customize each of them. By the way, I described in this video. After editing the file of your dashboard, click Save. Then I click the Edit Configuration page, click Done. As you see, we have the customized test dashboard. Let's compare it with overview page. You see the tank status car. Compare it with test dashboard page. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave comments. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I see you in the next video.